Today for the Yum Yum Yogi, I will be making Thai Penang Curry. Because what we eat affects the mind, and what we think while making the food we eat affects the food, let's hold this thought. I radiate with a love so pure, it deeply touches the hearts of others, including God. For this recipe, we need lots of ingredients. 1 tablespoon ginger, 2 tablespoons Thai chili paste, 1 fourth cup cabbage, 1 tablespoon tomato paste, 3 kefir lime leaves or 1 teaspoon lime zest, 4 Thai green chilies, 1 tablespoon cilantro stems and 2 teaspoons lemongrass. You can use fresh if you want. I'm using the powder. 1 tablespoon coriander seeds, half a teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon galangal powder, half a teaspoon black pepper, 1 eighth of a teaspoon cardamom seeds, and half a teaspoon nutmeg. For written recipes, you can visit theyumyumyogi.net. Roast the cardamom, the cumin, and the coriander seeds on medium heat in a small pan. Just for a few minutes till it starts smelling wonderful. Transfer the roasted seeds to a small bowl. Now in the same pan with some oil on medium heat, roast the cabbage till it's translucent. Saute the cabbage, add ginger and saute for a couple of minutes. And now we are going to start prepping the curry paste. For the curry paste, I'm using a blender. So we take the cilantro stems, the tomato paste, the lemongrass powder, the green chilies, the galangal powder, the black pepper, the kefir lime leaves, the sambal ulek, the Thai chili paste and the sauteed ginger cabbage mixture and the roasted seeds and the nutmeg and you paste it. Usually Thai recipes call for a mortar and a pestle but I'm really not into that kind of hard work so I'm using blender here. Half a teaspoon salt and also the paste was too thick so I added a couple of tablespoons of water. And the paste consistency should look like that. And for this recipe, I'm going to be using tofu, extra, extra, extra firm tofu. You can use seitan if you want. You cut it into slices like that. We need 20 ounces of it. We need creamy 13 ounce can coconut milk, half a cup of fresh basil chopped, and we need four more kefir lime leaves. For this, we puree it in two tablespoons of water. Take a pan, a saucepan, heat it on medium high, add one fourth can coconut milk, add four tablespoons of curry paste and saute the curry paste in the coconut milk. We do not need oil for this recipe because the coconut milk has enough oil. Now add the tofu. And coat evenly. Add another one fourth can coconut milk. Coat evenly, cover and let cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. Take the lid off, add 2 tablespoons soy sauce, 1 tablespoon miso and the pureed kefir lime leaves and the rest of the coconut milk and mix thoroughly. And 
cover and cook for about five to six minutes. Now, take the lid off, add two tablespoons of palm sugar, and cook with the cover open. Don't close it. Cook with the cover open for five to five minutes, and then add fresh basil, mix, and then switch off the heat. Serve with rice, garnish with basil and peanuts and it's really lickably good. And remember to have this thought for yourself, for the planet, for the people around you. I radiate with the love so pure, it deeply touches the hearts of others, including God.